So just the dot point syllabus, aeronautics. Um, aeronautic engineers use a lot of finite element analysis um, when they're in CAD, when they're designing structures. Finite element analysis I've got up on the screen. I'll just zoom it over. Um, that's what finite element analysis looks like. Uh, you can probably see the mesh on the individual parts. They are the finite elements. The analysis is, they know how much force was in this, which then pushes on that one, pushes, 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 and they just use essentially the method of joints to say, well, the force in that is that, so therefore the force in this one that's pushing back is here, and that one's there. Computers do that automatically. And you can calculate where your peak stresses are, and you can design accordingly. So that's the first thing. The second thing is the textbooks often talk about strength to weight ratio. That's not strictly correct. A good steel has got a yield strength of about 700 megapascals quite happily and quite easily. Its density is 7.85 tonnes a cubic metre. Its strength to weight ratio is about 90. A good aluminium has a yield strength of 300 to 350. Density is 2.7. Its strength to weight ratio is 110. There's not that much difference in the strength to, weight, strength to weight ratio of a steel and an aluminium. What it does mean, however, because that's stronger in tension, I need around about half the thickness to one third of the thickness, depending. Which means if I've got an aircraft skin in aluminium that's six millimetres thick, an aircraft skin in steel would be three millimetres thick to two millimetres thick. But planes don't only work in tension. Planes have got to resist buckling. Six millimetres has got a lot better buckling strength. Remember, stress equals MY on I. That, the moment, the distance from the neutral axis to the outside. Aluminium has a lot better buckling strength than steel. So they use aluminium in aircraft not because of strength to weight ratio. They use aluminium in aircraft so it's thick enough to resist buckling while maintaining an acceptable weight. 